Oh, there's a fossil. Hey, there's a fossil. It's day the 13th? I don't know, time is an illusion at this point. Yeah, 13th, wow. Good morning, everyone. Right now it's 11.31. Now for today's announcement. So we've got a visitor at the campsite. Have fun out there. Because the, the problem is, I get up at like, oh god, I, 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 well, I work until like 6 a.m., gosh dang it, stupid wetsuit, I work until like 6 a.m., and then I get like two hours of sleep, and then I'm up, and then I'm like, ah, oh, I'm already up, I might as well just keep, s and, and s instead of like farting about for like an hour, and then just going back to bed, I might as well stay up. I might as well just stay up and play Animal Crossing in like four hours. And that's what happens without fail. At least that's been the past two days. Oh, when did I get... Did Gulliver give me pirate boots? Mm. But I'm so freaking tired. I've been up for like the past few hours. Just, and like, oh, I should go back to sleep. That would be the smart move. And then I don't do that. I hit B like five times right there. Thought I had an achievement popped up. Guess not. Of course, I did admittedly consider like delaying today. By like a couple, like go until five, yeah, waiting until five o'clock, but then I remember turnips, and I was like, nah, I can't do that. I mean, we bought, I bought turnips for the first time in like a month. I might as well actually use them. Hmm, awesome. Raise beyond a helix. Alright, let's go find some more fossils. Dang it, I don't know what's up. My B button breaking. Ooh, first try. That's nice. Let's go find those last two fossils.
Ooh. That's not a bad spot for a money tree. Then there was one. Oh, and Sahara is here today. We can buy some. We can buy some good shit. Nothing over there. Hey, <coughs> hey Sahara. Yes, give me a rug. Let's buy a large rug. Yes, yes, I probably have like a thousand tickets in storage that I've never used. Flooring. Hopefully it's not so, like I have the. I must have like four copies of the bank vault because she keeps giving me the bank vault. Nothing up here. Anything in the fields themselves? I almost have enough orange to, like, get rid of those. Like, once I fill up that orange, I'm basically done with this. I thought Bianca was thinking something. Anything? Stink bug. Okay, it's gotta be up here then. I would have sworn it'd be up there. Okay, where could it be? We just need a fossil. Fruit Island? As far as I can tell. See, I thought I saw you thinking about something. You know, Bianca, you're cool, but I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for- I know we kept her la last time she asked to leave. I was like, no, stay. And I still like her, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes it just happens like that. She was one of the cooler ones. I should see who's at the campsite. I can't find this last fossil. 
I'll probably come across it either to, in like a few minutes or tomorrow. Because that seems to be how it always works. I always come across it a day late. Ow, I just hit my hand. Or, correction, I crushed my hand in my... Between my chair and my desk. No. So we're looking for, like, a Diplo tail part. I don't know what it exactly it's called, but that's all we're missing. Also, a, a T-Rex torso, just because I already have part of a T-Rex. Mammoth torso, Petro body, saber tooth skull. Again, we have gotten, like, four saber tooth skulls in a row. It isn't pretty. Uh, let's see. There it is, turnips. We already have. We already basically have all of the stuff at the shop today. Yo, know, I'm surprised they don't have reverse bell vouchers in this game, because you've got the bell voucher where you can turn. Nook Miles into money. I'm surprised there isn't a way to turn money into Nook Miles. I mean, maybe that break the economy. 84. Eh, that's the standard starting price. It's either going to stay the same or go terribly wrong. We'll see. It's going to go terribly wrong because some things never change. Never change. Let's see what they have here. have one of these I don't think I do I know I definitely have a trench coat I was looking at these yeah <laughs> Ooh. That outfit totally matches. Oh my god, how fucked politics is right now. So... Uh, the, the president, Donald Trump, made a wore a mask in public for like the first time, and now all of these conservatives are coming out of the woodworks, being like, "Okay, now that the president's worn a mask, we're gonna start wearing a mask." I mean, it's good; it will definitely help fight the COVIDs, but f fuck, you should have just started like that. I think. Right? Like, if he had just started from the bat, like, hey, we're selling Make America Great Again masks, everyone would have just worn a mask. And Donald Trump would have made a bunch of money. But no. Instead, Donald Trump needs to be difficult and kill millions of people. Yeah, that's okay. I have that, like, four times over. Yeah. I wonder how many Taylor tickets I do have. Oops.
Yeah, no, I mean, it's good that more people are wearing a mask. I hate how much bullshit it took to get there. Oh, yeah, I was gonna... Ch I was like, what, what was I gonna check? Uh, Taylor tickets. They're down here at the bottom. Okay, I've got... Uh, 50, 60, 80. Oh, my God, I've got 18. I, I have no intention of spending any time soon. Alright, we gotta go find a bottle on the beach. And I'm going clam hunting today because I have nothing else to do. No big wedding season event this month, sadly. I mean, I could go swimming, but... Oh god, our shovel broke right there. We got a shovel. Hey, Whitney. How you doing? Good morning. So happy to see you bright and early. My dear, isn't the weather divine? I tell you, the sky, the clear skies like this make me feel like anything's possible. So, the big news story today is that Ubisoft Forward happened yesterday. And we're going to talk about it, because I have some thoughts... I mean, I have some thoughts on a few things. But before we talk about that, let's preface this with saying... F Ubisoft is a company that is currently facing allegations of sexual harassment within its staff. And while they did, f did allow some of its higher-up staff members to retire... Not, they didn't get fired. They were allowed to retire, basically avoiding all the punishments that come with all the heinous acts they did. Ubisoft was still complicit in most of that, especially their CEO, Izguamo, who who has been running the company for over 30 years and was, help, was most likely helping cover all that up. Uh, just allegedly. Yeah, fuck Ubisoft. I have to preface that because fuck Ubisoft. Let's talk about the games that are meant to distract us from the allegations. Because, of course, they didn't talk about these allegations during the show. Because, in their own words that they posted on Twitter right before the show started, this, pr this presentation was recorded a while ago, and we didn't address the allegations, and it's not like we're going to record a new thing to address them... No, no, just think about the video games. Don't think about the politics and all the the sexual abuse we put our employees through. No, don't think about that. Just think about the video games. Don't get don't don't let politics come into your video games. Fuck Ubisoft. Fuck Ubisoft, man. J Jim Sterling again knocked it out of the park with a great Jimquisition this morning about how people will try to be like, "Oh, don't think about politics and video games just enjoy the video games hey trent M morning to you hopefully you're better rested than i am because i'm so fucking tired but yeah so the show started off with so with all that yeah the show started off with Watch Dogs legion this is a game i'm actually looking forward to I think the core premise that you basically can play as... A, that you, any NPC you find, you can recruit and make them a playable character is an amazing idea. 
one of one of the best. I'm it's I love it. I love it so much. I want this game to be good, and I know it's not. And I know it's going to be fucked, mainly because it's Ubisoft doing it. Specifically, if I had to guess, it's going to have microtransactions or loot boxes, kind of like Shadow of, kind of like uh, Shadow of War, where you can pay m real money to get like a loot box to give you one of the rant to give you some random NPC characters that are just instantly recruited to your team. I can totally see that happening. It is totally going to happen. They're, it's it's such a great idea for a game. It's too good to be true. And even like beyond that, I'm I'm sh I would not be surprised. There's I, I haven't seen anything about this. But if this game was riddled with crunch, like crunching its developers behind the scenes, I would not be surprised. Because like the idea of like every NPC is a playable character probably took a lot of work. I'm sure there's like some recycling they can do and like I'm I think there's like a class like a class structure where it's like Oh, look at that. That's cute. Where like there are only so many classes and like there are so many different ways to tackle missions, but there's only like so many ways to do, right? There's only like so many different types of characters. Like there's a hacker, there's an assassin, there's a protester, there's a football who hooligan. Not like every person's unique. At least if I had to take a guess. I don't know. It, it I, I'm, I'm excited for this game. And I didn't, it's funny, because I played the first Watch Dogs back on the X-Bone. And I, I had fun fucking around with it. But at the end of the day, it just didn't really do it for me. And while Ubisoft gave away a, a Watch Dogs 2 yesterday, and I did get a copy, presumably, I haven't actually checked Uplay on that front. I don't know, because my, my big conceit, my big problem with Watch Dogs 2, and kind of the first one, was that it was like, oh, we've, we've got this cool hacking game that inevitably just devolves into, like, a shooter like Grand Theft Auto. No, I want to do all the cool hacking stuff. I don't want everything to become shoot the video game that's kind of boring and your hacking stuff is cool and interesting oh you did play Watch Dogs 2 did you have fun with it because I, I, I just I couldn't get past the first one I just I hated the main character of the first one man but like and but I heard from what I heard Watch Dogs 2 did at least say that if you want to beat the game without killing a single person without using a gun you can totally do so which is really interesting. Like, that's what I want from Watch Dogs. But I just... Watch Dogs 1 burned me. I, cu I couldn't get into the second one. Because I didn't like the first one. And the third one... The third one seems to be kind of working along a similar premise. Because theoretically you can recruit anyone. I could totally see the mentality of you can beat this game without killing a single person. I've been watching, like, th th Ubisoft also had, like, a bunch of s YouTubers and streamers come by and play the game and, like, test it out and do all the cool things. And I've been watching a few of those. And I've seen I've seen some funny, cool stuff. Like, there's a spider robot that, like, can go around and, like, attach to people's faces and electrocute them. And if you use the spider... And, like, part a whole conceit of the game is that in Watch Dogs 3 Legion, whatever it's called... Is that you can use uh, taser guns instead of actual guns, so you can beat the entire game non-lethally. Because if you don't kill the people, you're like, like let's say you're breaking into a, a villain base, and you don't kill any of the people, you can still theoretically recruit them later on. But if you kill them, then no, you can't. That's an interesting conceit. I'm I'm fascinated with this game. I don't know if I'll play it at launch because. Yeah, but I am fascinated by its conceit. And it, they also had a new trailer for the game. And it it was a really good trailer. It reminded me of Into the Spider-Verse. It might have even been done by somebody who worked on Into the Spider-Verse. I'm not entirely sure about that. Not Lord and Miller, but somebody else. It might have. I'm not sure about that. 
but they had a they had a trailer that that basically kicked off the event, and it was a really good trailer. It's I don't know if I'd say it's one of the best trailers ever made, but I really enjoyed it. It was just really well done. It was very it was stylized like into the Spider Verse. It was pretty cool. And then they did they they talked about Watch Dogs Legion for like fifteen minutes. It was like a 45 minute show, so yeah. And they showed like the different ways you can like approach a mission, like, oh, I could go in and stealth it up, or theoretically you could recruit one of the guard the enemy guards and just walk your way into the base, which is cool. Right? All these different approaches to how you play the game. You can play as a professional hitman if you want. It's just about who you recruit. Great conceit. I, I I'm inter I'm totally interested in it. It comes out in October, like the very end of October. So who knows? I probably won't get it, but yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I will. That could be fun. I don't know. The, the what's gonna kill it for me is the microtransactions, which are inevitably gonna be there. They're inevitably gonna be there, and it fucking sucks. Like I said a few weeks ago when uh, EA was talking about raising the... Or no, it was uh, 2K games with their sports games. We're talking about raising the price of video games. If they wanted to raise the price of video games, I'd probably be willing to pay more for video games if they came with the thing that they're not going to have any microtransactions, they're not going to have any loot boxes, the employees aren't going to be going to be put through soul-destroying crunch... I would gladly pay more money for video games. But the problem is the AAA industry wants their cake and they want to fuck it too. So of course they're going to they're going to raise the price of video games probably and still have all the microtransactions and the loot boxes and whatnot. Of course right now is a horrible time because with the covids so many Americans are out of work at least here in the states. So many Americans are out of work and don't have the extra um, income to spend. Yeah, it's... These are hard times we live in. Next up, they talked about Brawlhalla, which is a like a free-to-play Ubisoft fighting game that I've never played. I, I think it's on Switch. I've never played it. But it's getting ported to, piece, uh, to iOS and Android. Hey, Crispy Potato. How you doing? You're back to see me hunt clams again so that I inevitably fail catching the blue marlin. Was that was that you? Or were you no, you were helping with the bugs. Maybe both. Yeah. And then they talked about Might and Magic and Elite Squad, which Elite Squad is basically Ubisoft's Smash Bros. He just finished digging clams. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Elite Squad is Ubisoft's like Smash Bros, where it's like, oh, all our famous Ubisoft characters in one game. But it's a freaking like mobile game. So nobody gives a shit about it, probably. I don't think it's officially launched. Got a southern friend. Don't want to get the stringfish. Yeah, woo, that's that's good. I had I had good luck with the stringfish. I mean, it took me like three days, but on that third day, I found it pretty quickly. <laughs> okay, yeah. I should check this bottle. Oh, it just these. <coughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, so, uh, the next up, they talked about Rainbow Six Siege, which Rainbow Six Siege is celebrating its five year anniversary. Uh, I've never played. I admittedly did watch a uh, Good Omen, which was Rainbow Six Siege, and that was I liked Good Omen, but I like Alfredo, so yeah. But I really have never been able to get into Rainbow Six Siege. Like I, I couldn't watch Get Good, 
Was it you who scared the blue marlin away? That was me. Well, I didn't scare it away, but I went to catch it and I reeled in too quickly. Or I was too late. I mean, I was too late on reeling it in. I I used like 50 clam bait and found it on the 50, on like the 49th. Maybe it was 48th. And then I reeled in too slowly and sc screwed myself. So now I gotta try again. Now I gotta try again. And then bug-wise, I'm only missing like two of them. The Napoleon fish I did get. That one I did get pretty easily. But yeah, and then bug-wise, I'm missing the walking stick and the horned Hercules? I'm only missing two bugs, because I got really lucky one night. That make me feel a little less bad. I don't know, I'm just try I'm trying. Admittedly, I have no idea. Once once I get all the bugs and fish, I have no idea what I'm going to do for the rest of the month. Oh, yeah, I'm going to destroy the mountain. Oh, God. I really need to plan out what I'm going to put in the place of the new mountain. Yeah, whatever. I'll play it by ear, like I always do. I'm missing the barrel eye for fish and the stags for bugs. Yeah, I, I admittedly don't have the barrel eye either. I don't even think I've... Because it only, what, appears after nine? I haven't... Re but admittedly, I haven't even really been looking for the barrel eye. Man. And then a few, a few nights ago, I got really lucky... With all, like, the gold, the giraffe stag, the golden, the golden stag, just all showed up in, like, a single night. The cicada shell, I got really lucky. I guess let's bury my wood. And I got, one night, like, a few days ago, I got super lucky. I've got three or four barrel eyes, oh my god. I've I've had no luck. I mean, admittedly, I haven't really been trying, because I mostly focus on like like June. The fish in June took me forever. It took me. I think I. It took me like twenty days to catch all the June fish, because I was just having terrible luck with like two of them. So it took me forever. I don't even remember which two it was. Oh, the, the, uh, the, uh, Saddle Bircher and the, was it the Arapama? The Arapaima? Um, I went looking for a, so, I went looking for one and I never found one. I went, I went to, I went to a few islands and never found a bamboo island. I did find a beetle island yesterday. But it was at it was at like noon, so I couldn't get any of the beetles. So none of the uh, beetles were spawning. But I I did look I did look for one. I I did I did I did try to use it anyways. Yeah, the Beetle Island sucked. Because it was just like, I kept finding cicadas and whatnot. Or, no, I kept finding horned beetles. And I was like, oh, if I had just come like a few hours later or a few hours earlier, I probably could have gotten everything. Gosh dang it. Man. But I'm, I'm close to being done. I'll pro Ho If I get lucky... Today or tomorrow, I'll probably be done in the next few days. Stag Island is a 2% chance. Yeah. Sucks that it was the wrong time of day. I 
I'm surprised there isn't like a desert island where the entire island is just sand and palm trees. That would actually be kind of neat. I don't... I, I think that would be kind of cool. I'm surprised that isn't in the game. Yeah, they could, they could get really creative with some of the, like, random islands. And you couldn't have waited because on Mr. Allen Spawn. Exactly. I mean, I would have had to wait, like, five hours. But, yeah... No, I, well, okay, the walking stick shows up at, like, f no, does the walking stick show up at five? The walking stick shows up at five, yeah. in the Ubisoft thing. Um, Ubisoft, they showed off Rainbow Six Siege. I've personally never gotten into Siege, but I, my brothers have, so... Um, um, they showed off Hyper City or whatever the hell it was called. Honestly, now that I've seen... Like, I still fuck Ubisoft, but now that I've seen this hype, uh, Hyper Light Drifter City, I actually don't think it's that bad. Like, it took me three hours for the Horned Hercules, and then I cut three in 40 minutes. <laughs> yep. Yep, that seems accurate. It's the second you stop looking for it is when it becomes common. It's like, it's like, it's like how uh, they used to code old GTA games. Where if you were riding, if you were driving a car, it was more likely that other car, that similar looking cars would sh would spawn. So like if you were riding a motorcycle, there was a high chance of other motorcycles spawning. It's like that. But yeah. So, th this new Ubisoft Battle Royale game, its trailer is, it's basically got the same setup as Ready Player One, which again, I, while I did not like the book Ready Player One, I liked the, the movie I thought was fine. I have definitely seen far worse movies. But honestly, looking at it, it's, I like the style of the game. It's stylized in a way that I know is comparable to like Fort Fight or whatever. But I honestly don't think it looks that bad. The power-ups look kind of cool. It's... I actually... I'm kind of interested in this. I... It's, it has a free PC beta right now. That I definitely won't be playing. Because my PC definitely can't run this game. My PC can't run shit nowadays. Oh, the fate of laptop gaming. I don't know, I can run a few indie games. Yeah, um, it, I think it looks pretty good. I've heard people played it, and the open beta's going on right now, so, yeah. Again, I'll still concede, I like the core premise of Battle Royale games. The only reason I didn't like Fortnite was because I don't like building the building mechanic. The building mechanic just took all the fun out of the game for me personally. But PUBG, I really enjoyed PUBG. And I thought some of the other games had a lot of potential too. Apex Legends, even though I haven't even though I own a PS4, I haven't played it.
Oh, wait. Oh, I, I, I like, skipped over the first line of text, and I completely missed who she wanted me to give the gift to. I caught the ocean sunfish really fast, but now I can't find it again. Yeah, I got... I, I probably missed... I probably found the ocean sunfish, like, once or twice, and I kept losing it, because there was, like, a... For the first, like, f five, six days of July, I couldn't catch a single shark. Every shark I found slipped out of my grasp. But I... But once I did, I've had good luck since then. And yeah, I probably lost, like, two ocean sunfish along the way. It was either that or they were whale sharks. Yeah, I, I really... I've only seen, like, sucker fish and, like, a single great white since then. Oh, hey, Zucker. What you doing? Oh, I already have an orange umbrella. Hey, Zucker. Delivery here. It's just a taku takuyaki pen. A gym team. <laughs> Honestly, that really actually does match his style, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I kind I kind of think that works. I think Z Zucker plays well with blue. Let's see what's in this bottle. Graham. All right, let's go. I haven't even been back. Somebody's at the campsite today, and I haven't even checked. Well, all the available creatures. I've I'm missing the marlin, the barrel eye, and the tuna, which I just I just missed the tuna back when it was available. But I think it shows up in like a few months. I just want to sell that. So I'll I'll get it then. Oh, golden trout. I'm missing go uh, golden tr golden trout or golden carp, the the upper river fish that I went looking for back in like March and or May Mar some at some point and couldn't find. I completely skipped over that. Oh, the ones you die for. Yeah, I've also got all of those. At least the ones available for the month of uh, July. Honestly, the diving creatures were pretty easy to find. I I mean, yeah, sure, the isopod and the other one run away. The isopod and the vampire squid. They like to scurry. But other than those two, most of them were pretty easy to get. It just took time. Of course, now that I have them all, I have tr I, I keep having trouble finding another scallop. Like, every day I usually go out looking for scallops and I haven't found one. Oh... Honestly, the first time I found the the Gigas Giganticlam, it didn't even run away from me. I got really lucky the first time I found it. But yeah, it does run away. Maybe because I already had it cornered, like just by happenstance, and I didn't even realize it. I do want to find another vampire squid, though. Yeah, maybe another day. So let's see. Next up. 
They talked about... Oh, Phil Spencer came out and talked about the Xbox Series X real quick. And how, like, Ubisoft's fully supporting it. And ray tracing. And whatever the next-gen term buzzwords are. Phil Spencer has been making the rounds these past few days. Between this and the Devolver Digital Direct. He's been making the rounds. They really should get him a better webcam. But he accidentally caught the blue marlin this month. <laughs> And then after that, after that, they showed Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Again, I used to really like the Assassin's Creed games. Uh, one was whatever, but two was good. Brotherhood was good. Revelations I never beat. Three I wanted to like. Three I thought was like, oh, an American Revolution Assassin's Creed. Oh, that's so cool. I want to. Oh, that sounds great. And then it was just underwhelming. I mean, it's not the worst game I've ever played, not by a long shot. <laughs> but it just didn't do it for me, and I was so disappointed. The ship sailing was cool, and then they did Assassin's Creed 4, which was all about pirates, and that was great, and then Ubisoft said they were making a pirate game, and then that just was presumably got cancelled. I walked up to the dock, saw a big fish, expecting a Napoleon fish. Because I was hunting for it and pulled the blue marlin. I was like, I forgot these came back. <laughs> yep. When you're not looking for it, then it appears. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, whatever. Yep. I, I did like me some Assassin's Creed. And then Unity came out and it sucked. I actually heard Unity's not that bad. Like, I, it was, so, it was like, very buggy at launch, but after they went back and fixed the bugs, I actually heard it was pretty okay. Don't know, never played it. I think I might own it, actually. And stop looking for the Blue Marlin. That would be very clever, but I don't think the game works like that. Because as long as I don't have the Blue Marlin in my decks, that means I'm looking for it. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, there was another Assassin's Creed after Unity that I don't even remember. It was was it Syndicate? I think it was Syndicate. I don't know. Never played it. And then they rebooted the franchise with Origins, which I heard was good, but I never played. And then they did Odyssey, which was potentially better, but I can't get past the microtransactions and the loot box. Or it, I don't think it has loot boxes, but I know it has, like, where you pay money and you get, like, double XP time... They call them time savers, which is just fucking disgusting because they purposefully make the game grindy and then ask you to pay money. More money, because you already bought the game at 60 bucks or whatever. Then they ask you to pay even more money to make the game less grindy. And I heard, and I, I even heard a few people say that if you actually buy time savers, it makes the game way more enjoyable. Like, if you double the XP rate, it makes the game so much better. But that's fuck. But the developers could just do that and make the game better. But no, they want you to spend money. It's, it's disgusting. The AAA game industry is a fucking mess. It's a bubble that's eventually going to burst. And now we got this new one in Norway, which is probably going to be plagued by that same... Or not in Norway, it's in... It's, you're, we're back in England in Assassin's Creed, but you're playing as Vikings. And, I, again, I think... It, I, I like Assassin's Creed. I think it looks good. There's raiding aspects. There's, there's stealth. They brought back the Hidden Blade, because I don't think it was in the last two games. Uh, there's these fort. You're able to like assault these fortresses. Admittedly, this one I didn't watch. Any like people also got to play this one. I just didn't watch any gameplay of it. But yeah, no, I'm. I like Assassin's Creed, and I I really should get around. To, should play Origins now that I own a PS4. I should maybe get around to doing that. 
I'm just not playing any games on the PS4 right now, though. Besides for Minecraft. I wouldn't hunt in... I must have spent, like, an hour hunting diamonds yesterday in Minecraft. I found, like, seven. I, I have the worst luck. I have the absolute worst luck. Until I've caught them all in seven bugs. Yeah, I have the... But I, I, I found a... So I was in... So in my world... There's my there's the house, and then off to the left is like my cave. And then if I go off to the left, there's like an entrance to the cave, and the cave splits into left and right. And I always go left because that's like the giant underground labyrinth. I had never even gone right. I went right, and it's like super shallow, but right there on the surface is a mob spawner. There was a spider spawner, and I was like, I've been down here like ten times. How have I never noticed that spider spawner? So I may I turn the spider spawner into a spider spawner into an, a, an exp farm. It actually I found a tutorial on YouTube like like you always did back in the day. Pretty good actually. I remember I remember spider spawners were the biggest pain in the ass to work with because of how spiders can climb walls. But no, it's it was a simple thing. It took took me like probably less than an hour. I had, to, I had to go get materials, which took a while, but, um, Like, I had to go to the nether to get light. Hmm. And then, lastly, uh, at the Ubisoft conference, they showed the trailer to Far Cry 6. A pretty... A pretty good trailer. I, again, um, whoever the villain is... I don't remember the actor's name. The guy, the villain from Breaking Bad, he's great in this trailer. It's, it's, I mean, we know nothing about it other than basically the trailer. I think we've learned that, that you can play as both a male and a female, depending on which one. But yeah. One time I found a cave full of rare materials super early in my run. I was digging and found diamonds and talk. I, that happened to me yesterday. I was searching right before I gave up. I fa I was like, oh, I'm gonna, oh, I stumbled upon this random cave. Like, I was digging through and I stumbled upon this random cave. I'm like, oh, there's diamonds right in the center of this cave. Oh, I'm so lucky. I uncover it and there were like two. And I was just like, ah, oh, gosh dang it. And then I just went back up. See, the thing is, I already have a bunch of diamonds, but I want like more because I'm, I'm looking into getting netherite stuff. And that just takes a bunch. Because I, I think I already had, like, 20-something. But I, I needed more because of netherite. No, well, I did use a few for some tools, like a sword and a pick. I don't remember how many I had. We've got exactly 50 bait. Okay. Do I risk it? I guess it's time to try again. Netherite. So in the newest Minecraft update, they added Netherite, which is basically you go to the Nether and you get this stuff called Ancient Debris. And then you take the Ancient Debris and like smelt it and combine it with gold. And then you can like use this new... It's is it called like a forging table or something and combine and basically put the netherite on diamond to make an even stronger sword it's an even stronger diamond sword it hits harder and you can also throw it in lava and it won't burn like it's fire resistant of course wearing a full a uh, full suit of netherite armor does not make you resistant just make you completely fire resistant which i think is kind of dumb it, sh it should, in my opinion. But yeah, it's basically like the new diamond after like seven years or ten years or whatever. Yeah, it's you can upgrade diamond stuff. I, I, I've got, I mean, in one world, in my achievement world where I get all the uh, achievements, I already have, I, it is, it's actually pretty easy to find. Just go down to like Y level 12, 
Maybe it was 12. So, something around there. And just strip mine. And I found a bunch of the stuff over like an hour or two. It's pretty common. At least at least I got lucky with it anyways. I have much I have a much harder time finding diamond. But yeah, no, I, I think it's pretty cool stuff. Has it updated to creative mode? Yeah, I think you can get it all in creative mode. My, uh, I, I Now, there is supposedly a bug in Bedrock Edition that even though the netherite stuff is supposed to be immune to lava, it might not be, which kind of sucks. I don't know, that's what somebody told me. I personally haven't seen it. Because... I basically made a set of armor, wore it, took a screenshot, and then just put it back in my chest. I actually wonder if I have... Let's see, do I have that screenshot? Um... Oh yeah, there it is. That's what the new armor looks like. Yeah, that's my achievement, world. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I think I think it's pretty cool. That was big. Feels big. Oh, it's a Napoleon fish. You have the same skin as my best friend. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I just I I use the chicken. I because in like I hate that you can't have custom skins in Bedrock. Even though I think you could even in the mobile game in or in mobile. But yeah, I just I use the chicken, man. I mean, I could probably sell the Napoleon for good money. Yeah, and that, so, to bring it full circle with the Ubisoft thing, that's where the Ubisoft show ended. There were so many things I expected to see in this show that just didn't happen. Like, I was expecting to see, like, gods and monsters, and... I mean, I know there were rumors of, like, a Raymond game or something like that. But, uh, that... Yeah, that was kind of unconfirmed. But, uh, gods and monsters, Rainbow Six Quarantine, not like I care about Rainbow Six Quarantine. But, no, this Ubisoft Direct... The Ubisoft Forward didn't... Missed a bunch of things that I thought would have been here. But they did announce they're going to do another one later in the year. So, I don't know. There it is. There's ourselves the blue marlin. Yes. I would be more excited, but I'm very fucking tired. On it, honestly, now that I'm gonna Raymond Six Siege. <laughs> I don't know. I I be I hate. You see, the thing about a new Raymond game, like Origins or Legends, is that I guess Ubisoft hates the engine those games are made in. Like it's a pain in the ass of an engine to work with. But I I'd be down for a new Raymond Origins. I admittedly didn't expect to see Skull and Bones during the Ubisoft show. Because uh, Skull and Bones, I hear it's in development hell after the director left. So, yeah. Oops. No. Yeah. Honestly, I just... And then, I just found the, sh the Ubisoft show underwhelming. Like, a big problem was that everything leaked. Like, sure, Far Cry 6 was a cool new announcement. 
But it leaked like two days before. And I don't care about Far Cry games. Well, let's learn about the Blue Marlin. Blue Marlin has a distinctly angular shape with no scales. It's unusually related to tuna. This butt fish exceeds 13 feet in bell and tail. Some accounts. No wonder it's popular targets. Sport fishing, unlike most fish. Seems like a worthy opponent. And there you have it. Um, oh yeah, there, uh, where's my fish tracker? So yeah, that's all the fish. Now I'm just missing two bugs. The stick bug and the, her the horned Hercules. And once I've got those, I'm free. And both of them show up at around 5 o'clock. So that means we're streaming at 5 tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I have not gone to the bank yet. But yeah, I just I found the Ubisoft. I mean, it's not the worst show I've ever seen. I'm still interested in Rainbow Six Legions. The Assassin's Creed thing was okay. A lot of it was just okay. I think that's the best way to put it. Like I like it's not as good as Sony. It's not as bad as EA's. Even though again, I'd say EA was barely worse than this because. EA's showing was, like, the best showing EA's had in, like, a decade. Ooh, Aloha KK. I don't think I have that one. But yeah, the Ubisoft show was whatever. Again, Ubisoft is currently in the scan... Again, just to remind everyone, Ubisoft is currently in a scandal of... Have, of uh, rampant sexual abuse in its company... That it's that it's that it has been covering up alleged. Well, well, we know it's been covering up, but there's a bunch of alleged stuff going around, and even though they've let go of some people, it still really doesn't change or fix anything. And a lot of these these systematic means of oppression and sexual misconduct that allowed this to happen in the first place are still most likely present within the company. The people may change, the systems didn't. Fuck Ubisoft. But just because I hate the company doesn't mean I have to hate all of the people, like the developers. Because that's the big problem in the AAA games industry. Is that I hate the company, but like the individual developers, the people on the ground floor that make the games, I don't hate them. And I do want good for them. I don't want them to be subjective to crunch. All these ho other horrible practices. So I'm gonna put the f the rest of this fish bait. I'm gonna put in storage, and we will. S uh, I'll use it next month when I need it. I'll put the Napoleon fish. I'll sell the other stuff later. Oh, I gotta put that lantern back. Ah, we'll do it tomorrow. Ah, we can do it right now. Yeah, that was that was the Ubisoft show. It took me almost an hour to talk about that. <laughs> Come on, put that away. Yeah, now now we're just I mean the new Paper Mario comes out on Friday. Ghost of Tsushima comes out on Friday as well. Both look to be good. Are both both I mean Ghost of Tsushima seems to be good. We'll see about the new Paper Mario. Just because the new Paper Mario isn't Thousand Year Door and isn't exactly like Thousand Year Door doesn't mean it's implicitly bad, which is how some people think about the Paper Mario games. But we'll, we'll talk about it. I mean, I think the, I know the review embargo for Ghost of Tsushima is uh up is tomorrow at like 10 and i'm assuming paper mario is going to also be tomorrow so i'm sure we'll talk about it again tomorrow yeah that's where we're gonna end off for today tomorrow i'll prop because i'm only missing two bugs and they both appear around 5 p.m 
that's probably when I'll be I'll be live tomorrow around 5 p.m. That's the plan, anyways. That's that's the hope. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, if, if I can get those last two bugs tomorrow, that'd be so great. I know I'm jinxing myself, knock on wood. God, that'd be so great to have those last two bugs. Mm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go get more than two hours of sleep. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.